Greetings, brothers and sisters, family and friends. I am the Minister of Wellness, Nathaniel Jordan. Brothers and sisters, we must we must prep. You have to save up food. Where the, the nation is too fat, too sick, and too evil. The most high is going to come crashing down, brothers and sisters, and I want you to be prepared. Make sure that you store up as many gallons of water as possible. Make sure you have a nice, high-quality water filter, okay? Because water is running out. It's running out. We have plummeted this environment from head to toe, and it's going to strike back. Nature is going to strike back to tip the balance back to normal, okay? I'm, I don't want you to be like our people during the, the days of Noah, brothers and sisters. Do not be like our people during the days of Noah when you wait until the disaster is up to your neck before you start taking action. Two large water reservoirs in the western U.S. hit record lows after the decline of more than two decades. Water levels at Lake Mead and Lake Powell, both on the 1,450-mile Colorado River, fell to their lowest in June 2021 due to dwindling water levels. The federal government says it declares to, to it plans to declare a water shortage this coming summer. The declaration would see mandatory water cuts in the states in Colorado River's lower basin, Arizona, California, Nevada. We're talking about 40 million people affected. 40 million people that depend on the river for drinking water and irrigation, and it would undermine the operation of hydroelectronic dams along the river that provide electricity to the three states. This is very serious. So you want to make sure, again, you want to make sure that you are prepped to where you can be self-sufficient regardless of what the government does or do not do. We have to break free. We're too dependent on this system, brothers and sisters, and that's not good. There's an 80% chance, according to the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, that Lake Powell's water level will fall below the minimum target water height by next year. 20% chance by 2024 that the levels will be insufficient. And it's just as bad for Lake Mead. And even with adequate snowpack this year, it was insufficient to counteract the effects of the ongoing western drought and soaring temperatures. Water policy analyst John Berggren from the nonprofit Western Resource Advocate said that even with abundant snow in the future, the reservoirs could remain in deep trouble. There's drought all over the place. Aside from lower basin states, those in Colorado's river upper basin also face future water cutbacks. So this only is exasperating problems of the ongoing drought in Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? How much water do you have saved up? Do you have gas saved up? Yeah, I'm talking about gas. You've seen the gas stations can easily shut down. Do you have gas saved up? Can't just focus on weapons, brothers and sisters. There's more to survival. And I estimate before things get really bad and vicious lockdowns and other emergency health measures occur to disrupt society, we have about two months. We have about two months left, okay? Join my website for much more information not covered here. Join my website, theministerofwellness.com, theministerofwellness.com. I am on YouTube, The Black Health Preacher. The link is in the pinned comment section. I also have other social media sites. I highly recommend you follow me on as many of my social media sites as possible. Theministerofwellness.com, we have an online store for all of your health needs. Go there and shop for what you need. Support the health ministry, buy us, for us, the minister of wellness.com. We are open Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time to take your call. Give us a call, 888-847-8026. We love to hear from you. Whatever you need, whatever assistance you need, ordering, booking, health coaching, questions, comments, concerns, 888-847-8026, the minister of wellness.com. And God said, behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed upon the face of the whole earth and every tree that produces fruit with seed in it. It shall be food for you. Shalom.